Caleb Williams is one of the most hyped up quarterback prospects we have seen in a long time. He is a heavy favorite to be the first overall pick in the 2024 NFL draft, and many are dubbing him as the next generational quarterback of the NFL. His play has drawn some very impressive comparisons, including chief superstar Patrick Mahomes. And while I think it's unfair to compare any kind of college quarterback to the best player on the planet right now when it comes to the sport of football, I do understand how his play style and his natural abilities are somewhat similar to Patrick Mahomes coming out of Texas Tech. And while I do think the Patrick Mahomes comparison does hold some kind of value, I also think that there is another player that somewhat reminds me of how Caleb Williams plays, somebody that took a very different career path. That player is Jets quarterback Zach Wilson. Caleb Williams has all of the natural abilities that you would want in a franchise quarterback. He has a fantastic arm. He can really rip it into tight windows, has great velocity, can really whip it in there. He can throw from a variety of different arm angles and really can make almost any throw that you ask of him. He generally has good accuracy as well, can fit the ball into tight windows, and he really doesn't put the ball in harm's way at all either. He has pretty good decision-making, just five interceptions to 42 touchdowns in 2022. Really impressive numbers. He's a dynamic athlete with the ball in his hand. He's very quick, shifty, and he has some very good speed as well. He also has a thick, powerful frame that he can kind of make tacklers miss. He's pretty good at understanding when to make the tacklers miss, when to get down and avoid unnecessary hits. I think he's a very dynamic weapon with the ball in his hands as a runner and as a quarterback outside of the structure of the offense as well, which is what truly makes him an elite level quarterback. That's really what makes him special is being an improvisational creator when the play breaks down. This is the trait that makes Patrick Mahomes the best quarterback in the league. It's why Williams is often compared to Patrick Mahomes as well. The ability to make guys miss, get outside of the pocket, keep your eyes downfield, rip the ball off platform 60 yards down the field is truly jaw dropping at times. And Caleb Williams does it on a somewhat regular basis. Really, Patrick Mahomes is one of the few quarterbacks that you see make these kind of plays. Williams is doing it at the college level, something that just most NFL quarterbacks even can't do. While it is what makes Caleb Williams and Patrick Mahomes truly special, it's also what got Zach Wilson drafted second overall by the New York Jets in the 2021 NFL Draft. A lot of people, including myself, thought he was really good because of his ability off-platform and really being able to be a creator when the play broke down. Now, obviously, Zach Wilson did not turn into Patrick Mahomes by any stretch of the imagination. He's been a complete and utter disappointment and a completely horrible pick for the Jets, number two overall. The major difference between Patrick Mahomes and Zach Wilson, to me, is not their ability outside of the structure of the offense. Zach Wilson has shown he could do that at BYU. It's their ability inside the structure of the offense, something that is absolutely necessary to playing the quarterback position. This is an absolute necessity at the quarterback position, and if you can't do that on a consistent basis, you're not going to be a good NFL quarterback. Zach Wilson is a perfect example of this. What really makes somebody special is the ability to be a creator when the play breaks down, and that's really what separates somebody like Kirk Cousins, who's very good at operating the structure of the offense, but really can't be a creator when the play breaks down, from Patrick Mahomes, who can do both and is the best quarterback in the league. While at BYU, Zach Wilson had the off-platform throws, the big-time ability when the play broke down to scramble outside the pocket, keep his eyes downfield, and launch the ball. But the big thing was he struggled when asked to go through progressions on a consistent basis, really consistently put the ball on the money when it needed to be there within the structure of the offense, really make anticipatory throws and go through progressions as quickly as he needed to, to be successful in the NFL. This is a huge reason why Zach Wilson failed in the NFL, because the outside of the structure stuff when it comes to the NFL is much more difficult. Defensive linemen are much better athletes. They're able to contain quarterbacks a little bit easier. The pass rush is much more ferocious. You have pass rushers like Aaron Donald and Miles Garrett who will absolutely crush any quarterback that holds onto the ball for too long. And I do think that Zach Wilson and potentially Caleb Williams will have issues with that. This is a big scouting point that I really took away from going back and kind of seeing where Zach Wilson went wrong. I think a lot of people saw the flashes of brilliance outside of the structure of the offense that they really weren't realizing when he was asked to consistently make throws within structure he struggled to do so. And I think that is a very important thing to look at when it comes to Caleb Williams, because I do think 
there are some of these same traits that Zach Wilson had that Caleb Williams potentially has as well. So where does Caleb Williams fall on the spectrum of complete bust Zach Wilson number two overall pick to the best player in the world in Patrick Mahomes? I think the answer is likely somewhere in the middle. He's still a very young player, has another full season at USC to really develop some of these skills, but I do think there are elements to both Zach Wilson and Patrick Mahomes' game that I do see when watching Caleb Williams play. I think he is more dynamic and has more impressive physical traits and is just a more natural football player than Zach Wilson. I think when you take a look at his arm, when you take a look at his decision making, his production, his accuracy, I do think all of those traits are much better than Zach Wilson when he was coming out even. I think that he has a lot of really, really good traits, but there are some tendencies that he does share with Zach Wilson that are important to note and keep an eye on for this upcoming season. One of them is notably that he waits for his wide receivers to get open. This was something that Zach Wilson did very consistently. He just waited for his guys to come open. He wasn't being an anticipatory passer. He wasn't throwing these guys open. Caleb Williams can occasionally do that. I think there are some times, especially on quick RPOs, things where he does get the ball out rather quickly, but I do think there are times when he's just asked to go through a multi-progression read that he does just kind of wait for these guys to really separate before absolutely ripping the ball into a tight window. Williams absolutely has the ability to just rip it but he doesn't do it on a consistent basis and he's not always throwing guys open. A lot of room to improve in that area, not necessarily going to be something that is crippling for him, but I do think it is important to note. Another important trait that I saw in Zach Wilson that I also see in Caleb Williams is not always being willing to take the easy stuff. And I think this was the biggest issue for Zach Wilson when he got to the NFL. Even when Mike White was playing in replacement of Zach Wilson, this was something that was majorly brought up by Robert Sala, by Zach Wilson, and a lot of people within New York media as well, is Mike White was really successful because he took the easy stuff. Zach Wilson didn't always do that. He was always looking to make the big play. He was always looking to break the pocket and really kind of create outside of structure because that's where he was so good. And I do think there are times that Caleb Williams does that as well. I think there are times that he doesn't always hit the nice, easy read downfield because he's trying to make a crazy big play. It's always a balance. You want to be able to have those insane plays and you don't want to keep your elite quarterback outside of the pocket always just repeatedly throwing two guys that may or may not be open just to get the ball out of his hands. But you also do want to get the ball out a little bit quicker on a more consistent basis and really save those insane out of structure plays for when you really, really need it. Another thing that Zach Wilson experienced at BYU that I think Caleb Williams does as well is he had really good protection. Zach Wilson pretty much just sat back there for five seconds on every single snap and it gave him plenty of time to survey the defense, really just kind of decide and then break outside of the structure and corners couldn't defend for five to seven seconds. And so Wilson got a lot of opportunities when the play broke down. I think Caleb Williams does have some elements of this as well, where he has a really good offensive line. He has good protection. The Pac-12 doesn't necessarily have the best defenses in the nation. And I do think that Caleb Williams has taken advantage of that. There are times that he does break out of a really impressive blitz that gets to him immediately and he breaks away and makes a great play. But there are also times where he sits back there and has a guy open and he decides not to take it and he just keeps sitting and waiting. And I do think that is a dangerous habit to have. He's probably going to be the first overall pick going to a really bad team, probably will have a really bad offensive line. Is he going to be able to be the same level of creator, be the same insane player and do all of the magical things that he does when a defensive tackle is breathing down his throat in two seconds? Maybe, maybe not. But I think it's important that you potentially consider what that might mean when Caleb Williams gets to the NFL. Ultimately, while I do think Williams does have some of the same concerning traits that Zach Wilson does, I think that he is much more likely to be a franchise-altering quarterback because of the insane physical gifts that he has. He's still very young. He's been much more productive. And I think that overall, he is a much better quarterback prospect than Zach Wilson was. Clearly, a lot of people like Zach Wilson and a lot of people like Caleb Williams. I do think there are are some similarities in their game that you just have to be aware of. I don't think Caleb Williams is a perfect prospect by any means, and that's part of the scouting process is being able to point out where some of the weaknesses are, where some of the flaws are, and how big of a deal they are. I think it's much more likely that Caleb Williams becomes a franchise level quarterback and is a great player, but I do think there is always that chance that some of these issues cause him to bust like Zach Wilson did. Let me know what you think. Is Caleb Williams worth the hype? 
Let me know down below. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great rest of your day. Bye-bye.